हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम मीनल ढल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल इम्पैक्ट ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन ऑन मैन फ्रॉम द पेपर इकोलॉजिकल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी कल्चरल एंड बायोलॉजिकल डायमेंशन दिस मॉड्यूल कवर्स द फॉलोइंग ऑब्जेक्टिव आफ्टर रीडिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन ऑन ह्यूमन अबाउट द डिफरेंट इशूज ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन द गिवन मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो लुक्स एट द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट द हेल्थ ऑफ ह्यूमन ड्यू टू अर्बनाइजेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अर्बनाइजेशन इट इज अ प्रोसेस बाय विच पीपल इंस्टेड ऑफ लिविंग इन प्री डोमिनेटली डिस्पर्ज एग्रीकल्चरल विलेजेस start living in towns and cities dominated by industrial and service functions it involves multiplication of urban places and or an increase in the size of existing cities the growth of urban population is only one of the dimensions of urbanization today urban anthropology distinguishes itself from the urban sociology mainly in terms of a different perspective while sociological studies are more focused on fragmented issues urban anthropology is theoretical and rather directed towards a holistic approach urban anthropology in the 1960s and 70s was focused on particular issue for example migration kinship poverty and so forth derived from or contrasted to traditional based field work by the 1980s they had expanded their interest to any aspect of urban life as a result urban anthropology became more integrated into the discourse of the other social sciences practically urban anthropology has emerged to a major part with the sociology ecology and other disciplines along with the theoretical interest in conceptualization of urban space and urbanism contemporary issue of urban anthropology are urban problems rural urban migration adaptation and adjustment of human in densely populated environment the effect of urban setting upon cultural plural, pluralism and social stratification social network the function of kinship growth of cities crimes and other urban dilemmas housing architecture transport use of space employment infrastructure demography and many others so urbanization is simply defined as the radical shift from a rural to an urban society is an essential corollary of industrialization that goes hand in hand with the role of human settlements as engines of growth in the economy and as promoters of scientific socio cultural and technological development as the modern world became more and more urbanized with more and more people moving to the living in cities the quality of environment of the human habitat has suffered to put it bluntly urbanization has led to environmental degradation which in turn has generated environmental risk hazards and disasters the fact is when a large percentage of the human lives in cities of which the environment is man made human as well as the artificial environment consume large quantities of resources which has an impact on the city as well as its hinterland for example huge ecological footprints problems with waste disposals and environmental pollution and degradation of quality of life there is no doubt that there is considerable impact of the built environment of a human habitat on human health the 21st century is a century of urbanization as more and more people move to the cities and make their homes there the city is invariably attractive as a human habitat 
urbanization is described as a process involving the physical growth of cities and urban areas. It is also a process involving migration as people move from rural to urban areas with population growth almost equal to the rate of rural urban migration. Urbanization is also a process that is closely linked to modernization, industrialization and the sociological processes of rationalization. People move to the cities due to better opportunities for jobs, education, housing, business and other socio-economic gains. City folks also have the advantage of the opportunities of proximity, diversity and marketplace competition. Living in mega cities has economic, social and other benefits but equally it has risk and hazards. Growth of urban human habitat It is the ironical that the growth of human habitat is achieved at the expense of the natural habitat destruction. Natural habitat destruction is a process by which natural habitats such as forests are damaged irreversibly and rendered functionally unstable to the extent that they are unable to support natural species of flora and fauna inhibiting them. During the process of human habitat expansion which replaced natural habitats, the organisms which previously inhabit the site are dispersed or destroyed leading to loss of biodiversity. In a way, we can say that expansion of human habitat create habitats for human at the expense of natural habitat and their inhabitants. Furthermore, natural habitat destruction by human activities is carried out also for the purpose of natural resource exploitation, food production like agriculture, industrial production like pharmaceuticals and for urbanization. In most developing countries, deforestation that is clearing of natural habitat is for urbanization and agriculture. This includes Malaysia which is a good example of a rapidly developing country where the impacts on the environment are significant. The environment effects on natural habitat destruction are environmental pollution, species extinction, climate change, ecological imbalance and environmental hazards or disasters. Additionally, natural habitat destruction also causes loss of water resources, poor air quality, soil erosion and land destruction and degradation of other environmental quality that diminishes the quality of life. Modern humans and the proliferation of their habitats have significantly impacted upon and changed the environment, often leading to environmental hazard that can excrebit into the disaster. Urban geographers have for long studied urbanization in the field of urban geography that is the study of urban areas. According to Jamaluddin Mohammed Jahi et al, there is uh, interaction between various components of the environment like the atmosphere, lithosphere, hydrosphere and the biosphere which are all independent in a symbiotic manner. When one component falls, the other cannot function eff efficiently as it is vital to achieve dynamic equilibrium between the components to ensure environmental stability. Now, if we see the in context to urbanization and mental health, urbanization brings with it a unique set of advantages and disadvantages. This demographic transition is accompanied by economic growth and industrialization and by profound changes in social organization and the pattern of family life. Urbanization affects mental health through the influence of increased stressors and factors such as overcrowded and polluted environment, high level of violence and reduced social support. The movement of population to urban areas has led to large number of older men and women left 
to look after themselves in the rural areas while the young generation lives in the cities for their livelihood this also lead to less availability to the caregivers for old people now the impact of urbanization on mental health also include the as it is associated with an increase in the mental disorders the reason is that movement of people to urban areas needs more facilities to be made available and infrastructure to grow this does not happen and align in alignment with the increase of population hence lack of adequate infrastructure increase the risk of poverty and exposure to the environmental ad- adversities further this also decreases among women and increases of nuclear families in urban societies has led to increase in the case of violence against women in general among them intimate partner violence links to alcohol abuse and women's mental health which affects the women's mental health the analysis of community based data from eight urban areas in the developing world indicates that mental and physical abuse of women by their partners is distressingly common with negative consequence for women's physical and psychological well-being now poverty and mental health have a complex and multidimensional relationship urbanization leads to forming set of groups as fringe population who earn on daily basis an indian study in a slum community of north mumbai indicates high incidence of alcoholism among men and verbal abuse of women by their husbands the world health organization analyze analyze the document that a close association between the experience of violence and women's mental health women are particularly vulnerable and they often disproportionately bear the burden of change associated with urbanization the model of cultural transformation especially from rural to modern society is considered to be one of the reason of psychological disorder however the stress caused by transition from rural culture to urban culture cannot be denied as one of the factor leading to stress related problems the cultural factors interplay with urban dynamics in a unique manner understanding how cultural dynamics articulate with the adaptation to urban life may facilitate proper management of mental disorders in the cities in the assessment and treatment of patients living in urban areas the contextual cultural factors also play an important role negative impact of urbanization within the purview of negative impact we can find that firstly as urban areas grow demand for land for housing agriculture and urban infrastructure increases the leading to increase pressure on the farmlands forest and water resources secondly rapid urbanization accelerates the desertification and environmental change leading to water scarcity soil erosion and climate change a prosperous urban center provide a number of benefit and contribute to poverty elevation through the provision of markets for agriculture and industrial goods financial resources employment opportunities for agriculture and industrial activities resources and capacities for government and politics center for artistic scientific and technological innovation and of culture and education a wide range of cost effective services including health and education now let us summarize what we have read or discussed till now human habitat have come a long way with homo sapiens lived in caves however humans now have a tendency to prefer living in urban habitats hence rapid urbanization and the incent expansion of mega cities with very dense population are among the most significant transformations of the 21st century the urban human habitat have 
been blamed for all the environmental woes in urban areas as many cities, especially in developing countries, continue this trend of degrading the environment. However, human habitats need not necessarily produce only negative effects on the environment. In an age of sustainable development, green technology, educated and environmentally sensitized human population, urban human habitats can hold a great promise for the protection, conservation and wise use of the world's natural resources. This is because urban habitats have the ability to support huge population and hence can effectively limit their impact on the natural environment. As more than half of humanity now lives in urban areas, urban human settlement should therefore be at the center of concern for sustainable development. Urban habitats are essential for social and economic progress and increasingly play a pivotal role in environmental protection in order to ensure a good quality of life for urban dwellers. Urban areas depend on their rural counterparts for food, water and other resources. Humans are living in an increasingly interdependent world and it is crucial not to degrade the environment on which both urban and rural populations depend on. The urban population growth is both due to migration of people to towns and cities from the rural areas in search of better opportunities as well as population growth within cities. As a town grows with a city, it is not only spread outwards into the surrounding agricultural lands or natural areas such as forests, grasslands and wetlands, but also grow skyward with high-rise buildings. The town often loses its open space and green cover unless consciously preserved leading to the destruction of the quality of life in urban areas. Good urban planning is essential for rational land use, for upgrading slum areas, improving water supply and drainage system, providing adequate sanitation, developing effective wastewater treatment plants and an efficient public transport system. Thus, there is a need to create awareness about mental illness across all sections of the society due to the effect of urbanization. Urbanization is thus seen as a natural corollary of growth. Awareness about its impact on health and more so on mental health will act as a facilitator of change in growing Indian economy. Thank you.